For years, the most recognizable face of the Liberty State Movement was Spokane Valley Representative Matt Shea. In fact, his firebrand politics made him so well-known and controversial, some within the Liberty State Movement distanced themselves from him. This year, he's not in Olympia. He decided not to seek his seat again. But the push for a new state carries on. Yesterday, House Bill 1239 was introduced. The sponsors include Shea's old seatmate and longtime Liberty proponent, Bob McCaslin, as well as the newest representative from Spokane Valley, Rob Chase. They were joined by two other Republicans, one from central Washington and one from the northwest part of the state. The bill basically does two things. One, it gives approval for a new state to be created out of Washington, basically just everything east of the Cascades. Two, it creates about a dozen different committees to help establish the new government of liberty. So does this thing have a chance this time? Well, not really. In order to actually create a new state, legally, two things need to happen. One, the United States Congress needs to vote to do so. Two, if that new state takes away territory from an existing state, in this case Washington, that state's legislature needs to vote to approve as well. Congress has never seriously considered the liberty movement, even when Republicans had total control of the federal government. It's even less likely to happen now that the Democrats are in charge. And in Washington, past attempts at liberty haven't even made it out of committee. And again, especially with the Dems running things, this attempt will likely meet the same fate. Arguably, the biggest push for liberty came in 2019, when advocates were trying to get advisory votes on county ballots in an attempt to show that Eastern Washingtonians even want this. But those attempts were unsuccessful. They also tried putting together a state constitution for liberty. Historically, Congress has requested this of new states. Those attempts also seem to have fallen through. So it's safe to say Eastern Washington is going to stay a part of Washington for the foreseeable future. Casey Decker, Krem2 News.